What is going on everybody? I am back. I wanted to talk about something that has been driving me up the wall lately. I keep hearing about it. I keep listening to it. I, it's just driving me absolutely bonkers. Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns are overrated. 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 I know what a lot of you are thinking. They're thinking, Zach, of course. Of course, who's saying that? It's the Browns, they suck. But let me go back to a point that the Browns could easily be 4-0. I mean, look at it. They had a chance to beat Pittsburgh and they're possibly one and only chance that they could have beaten Pittsburgh because now when they play Pittsburgh again with Baker Mayfield, Pittsburgh will have Le'Veon Bell. Whether he plays in that game or not, I think is a mute point because I still think Pittsburgh's gonna figure it out and actually play some football. On the other hand, I hear from a lot of people, Baker Mayfield, oh my god, he came in and he won a game, he's our savior, oh my god, he's Jesus Christ. To my response, Jesus Christ, he won a game, one game. If you look at his last three games, look at his last three games, three, one, two, three, that he actually played in, and yes, I am going back to when he was at Oklahoma. Look at what happened, look at it. His team was up big in a big game, to go to the championship, and he crumbled. Couldn't get his team there, lost an OT. Okay, Zach, but he won the game against the Jets. Do I need to say anything else? They beat the Jets with a rookie quarterback, Sam Darnold. They beat Sam Darnold, oh my God. Beat Sam Darnold, another rookie quarterback is probably going through the same thing. Is probably overrated right now. Keyword right now. He can't. They can't figure it out. They crumble in the big moment. Baker Mayfield. He crumbled against Oakland. I mean, look at it. Balls in his hand. You know, he's supposed to be in his prime. Probably should have been on the pine. Should have been watching from the sidelines because Tyrod Taylor can't figure it out, and they have no other better options. Like, what was it, the second play that he gets the ball, he fumbles the snap, and everything goes awry, and everything falls apart, and next thing you know, dun, 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 lose game, and then he gets the ball back, down three, rolls to his left, tries to force a pass, throws it straight into Reggie McKenzie's handball, game, game over. He's overrated, the Browns are overrated, everybody thinks that the Browns are going to finally turn it around, the Browns could easily be 4-0, and maybe I won't be having this discussion, but... They are. They're 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 one and three, or they're what one one and two, technically speaking. I mean they tied with Pittsburgh, but still they had their one chance to beat Pittsburgh, and you did. You had a chance to beat Oakland, and you didn't. Intercepted, fumble, back-to-back -back drives with a chance to win the game. Put the ball in your best player's hands or your quarterback of the future's hands, and he crumbled. Same thing happened in Oklahoma against Georgia. Next thing you know, Georgia's doing the same thing in the championship game. So come on! Baker mania. Like, I'm not there. Ice hasn't broken on that one for me. I'm not saying that it can't happen in the future with Baker Mayfield, but he has to figure out how to uh, uh, drink some coffee, if you know what I mean. Coffee's for closers! You gotta close out a game. You gotta figure out how to close out big games. And I know this was, you know, you're saying to yourself, Zach, it's week four. What do you mean this is a big game? It's a big game to him. This was his first NFL start. Looking for his first NFL win as a starter, and he just <laughs> flat on his face. But, Zach, he put up 42 points. No, he didn't. Chubb ran for two touchdowns on two carries that equaled, like, what, 110 yards? Baker Mayfield has nothing to do with that. So, come on. Come on. There was a lot of turnovers in that game. They gave Baker Mayfield a lot of opportunities to put up those points. 14 of those points were put up by one running back on two plays. So just chill out. I'm not saying they didn't have any nice throws or anything like that. What I am saying, though, is... He's still got a long way to go, so everybody who's, you know, in Cleveland, like, oh my god, he's the Messiah. I know that you haven't seen a victory in a long time, and you should deserve a gold star for beating the Jets, but come on. 
You're better than that. You're better than that. I mean, I know it's a lot to say that you haven't won a game on a Sunday in over a thousand days. But still, look at who your quarterbacks were. They're Cody, like, co what, Cody Kessler last year? I mean, of course you're going to go 0-16. You had a terrible offense. You had no wide receivers. You had no running backs. Yet Isaiah Crowell, he even, like, wiped his ass with a football because he hates Cleveland. They never could win a game. I mean, come on. Let's be real. I mean, Baker May you could probably get a Baker Mayfield jersey because I have a feeling he's going to be there for a long time. But right now, I'm saying he's overrated. The hype is too high. And everybody needs to chill out. All right? Baker Mayfield, well, figure it out. We'll find out. I don't know. But what I'm saying is Cleveland needs to figure it out. Maybe it's the coach. Maybe it's Hugh Jackson. But, you know, they should have a better record than they do. So that's my rant for the day. I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. Baker Mania. Let's just take it, take a step back, and let's let's watch the rest of the season. So that's all for now. Later.